Good morning, YouTube Book 2. This is Johnny down in the lower level. And today is a Sunday in the flow. It is uh, 8.50 in the morning. It is September the 24th. It is uh, 71 degrees. I'm down in the lower level because I have not shown any used books lately. I, I've accumulated oh, a small amount of used books over the last couple of weeks at thrift stores and Finville Warehouse used bookstore there in Finville and uh, Goodwill, Salvation Army, Blue Stockings. So they were stacking up down here so I thought I might as well show them because uh, we're going to go into a new month, and I'm sure I'll be accumulating some more books in October. I got books coming in the mail before the end of this month. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to show you the books. As my habit is, I don't really go much into the books. I just found these, and they interest me, and... So, and they're really cheap. <laughs> so, uh, so first I'll show the books I got. I think I got these at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore a couple of weeks ago. And I picked this one up. But call it, it's by E.P. Tomlinson, Wigs and Hunters, The Origin of the Black Act. I have a book of his on William Blake somewhere down here and I I collect books on British history uh, it was dedicated to Christopher Hill who is a very famous British historian and I don't know it was only 90 cents and I thought I'd add it to my British history collection And then I I'm not sure where I, I got this novel by it's by Jessica Shanak Shanak The Hazards of Good Breeding uh, a New York Times Notable Book of the Year. If I see a New York Times Notable Book Award, it was a Boston Globe bestseller, Boston Globe best book of the year uh, and it takes place in Boston and I collect books on Boston and and I got my bookmarker because I plan to read this uh, she has other novels out that look interesting and uh, I like good writing and uh, so I picked that up can't remember where I got it uh, this is Giant O'Brien, a novel by Hilary Mantel. I collect Hilary Mantel. I I have her collection. I have about 12 of her novels. And this one I've never seen before. And um, she is a, Br a British writer. This is also New York Times book review, notable book of the year. I never seen this one, so I picked that. I, I think I got that at Salvation Army, and I picked this up at. I think I got this at a thrift store, Mark Twain: A Literary Life, by Everett Ermit Emerson. I have uh, I collect books on Mark Twain, and. Uh, in Mark Twain, A Literary Life, Everett Emerson, author of The Authentic Mark Twain, revisits one of America's greatest and most popular writers. Building upon the, that earlier work, he explores the relationship between the life of the writer and his writing. So I thought, for, I got this one in my Mark Twain collection. Oh, I, I got this at... Um, I think the uh, Finville Warehouse used bookstore setting the setting 
The East Ablaze, Lenin's Dream of an Empire in Asia by Peter Hopkin. Uh, I have uh, other books by Peter Hopkin. I have his book, I think, on the Silk Road. Uh, yeah, Foreign Devils on the Silk Road. Uh, I have in my library. But this is another book by Peter Hopkin. This is Lennon, the uh, you know, uh, beginning of the Bolshevik Revolution back in uh, the turn of the century. Le setting, setting the East ablaze. Lenin's dream of an empire in Asia. I can't remember. I, I might have showed this. This is called Brindon Prairie, Dan O'Brien. I think I showed this. Uh, Brandon Prairie is a story of Bill Malone, once a great falconer, outdoorsman, and environmentalist who has entered middle age, a broken man, devoid of the passion and promise of his youth. But when his beloved retreat, Brandon Prairie, is threatened by developers, he is stirred to action in its defense and finds himself forced to confront his past while remaking his present. So that looked interesting, so I got this. I got this at Salvation Army. It, all these history books were there one day, and I bought them. A Thousand Year Flood, Ohio, Mississippi Disaster of 1937 by David Welke. Yeah, it's like American history and just in perfect condition. It was only 90 cents. So that, I got that from my American history. Also, I got this at Salvation Army, Devil's Sanctuary, The Eyewitness History of Mississippi Crime, Hate Crimes by Alex A. Alson Jr. and James L. Dickinson. I got this from my Civil, Civ, uh, Civil Rights Movement collection. Uh, lynchings, beatings, arsons, denial of rights, false imprisonment. The civil era brought attention to these. The civil rights era brought attention to these heinous offenses that were the status quo for African Americans in many areas of the country. And no state was more notorious as a sanctuary for murderers and perpetrator, perpetrators of hate crimes than Mississippi. So I got this from my civil rights collection. Also, I got this at Salvation Army. They had all these history books. Half Moon, J Henry Hudson, The Voyage that redid Drew the Map of the New World by Douglas Hunt Hunter. Yeah, I, I, I like uh, American history, early American history. And I, I remember reading about Henry Hudson when I was in I don't know, elementary school, high school. This is another book uh, I got Salvation Army. Sun, Song of Wrath, The Peloponnesian War Begins by J.E. Linden. This is ancient history. It's recommended by Tom Holland, author of the Rubicon, uh, it got, it had good recommendations in the back. I don't collect that many books on ancient history, but it was only 90 cents. And I have books on the, Poly, the Polynesian War, so I just got it. Maybe I'll get into it someday. I got this at the uh, Finville Warehouse used bookstore. Nelson, he was an explorer. This is by Ronald Hutford. I had this cataloged in my library thing, this book, but I seem, I got, I dehauled my Antarctica and Arctica collection. And I kept, made a couple, 
But this one, um, I just bought it again, not knowing. Uh, Nason Explorer as Hero by Ronald Huntford. It says here in the back by Paul Thorax. A wonderful biography of the greatest polar explorer by the best biographer of polar explorers. Hugely satisfying. So, I don't know. Yeah, I had his book, uh, Shackleton, I, just by this guy, and I had some other books by him, but so the, sometimes you, I find myself buying stuff that I had at one time, but then I got rid of. Cause I had a whole stack of books on Antarctica and Arctica and exploring and all kinds, but I picked it up again. I got this at the Finville Warehouse used bookstore. Uh, Amy and Jagu Jaguar Love Story Berlin 1943. As far as I could tell, this is kind of like a an autobiography of these women who found love in 1943 in Berlin. And uh, I think this is what this is. I got it because I collect books on Berlin, especially during the Second World War. And it says translated from the German by Ina McGowan. Uh, it says here in the back, unique, moving, and true, this radiant love story is set against the horrific backdrop of World War II Nazi Germany, while Lily Amy Wuss, a Gentile mother of four and the wife of a Nazi officer, meet Felice Jaguar Shag, 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 Gagnon, a Jew living underground in Berlin. Neither could have guessed that their mutual initial encounter would develop into a blazing devoted love. So, this is a little book I also found at the Fenville warehouse bookstore. I have it already, but this is a, a in the Catholic Master series. It's on the Desert Fathers. <laughs> uh, translations from the Latin with an induction by Helen Weldell. Just an old hardback. It was published in 1936. I have this in a paperback, a reprint. I'm not sure where I picked this up. It's a biography of a, I think, an Irish aristocrat. The Tale of Three Cities, The Life and Times of Lord Dara, 1763 to 1794 by Bob Harris. I, I I like to read biographies and it looked interesting and it's only I think a dollar so I got it for my United Kingdom collection then uh, I picked up I was at the Salvation Army last week and I found Tom Wolfe, The Right Stuff. This is his historical fiction about the first men who flew into space in 1961. But now few people have had a sense of the most engrossing side of the adventure, namely the perceptions and goals of the astronauts themselves aloft and during the certain remarkable odyssey on Earth. It, it is this, the inner world of the early arist astronauts, John Glenn, Alan Shepard, Gus Grissom, and their con confederates that Tom Wolfe describes with his extraordinary powers and empathy. I had the right stuff in an old paperback. I had this. because There's a movie made on this novel by Tom Wolfe, The Right Stuff. 
And I found the other day this hardback. There's a young picture of Tom Wolfe. So this is the first printing, 1979. I also found at Salvation Army last week, I had the, the novel, a Russian writer, Vel, Velsky, I can't pronounce his name, but he wrote The Burn, translated by Melk, Michael Glenny, and I found a hardback at Salvation Army of this novel, and this was published in no, what was this? Probably? 1984. So I had the paperback and I found this hardback last week. Uh, I also picked this up the Fenville Warehouse is Bookstore Wickerby, an Urban Pastoral by Charles Siebert. This is a uh, like nature writing. Uh, against the backdrop of a tumble down Brooklyn neighborhood, Charles Siebert, a native Brooklynite and longtime city dweller, reflects upon the first, uh, reflects upon the five months he had just spent at Wickerby, an old collapsing log cabin in the woods of Canada. So it's kind of like nature writing. This is a historical novel, I Am Abraham, a novel of Lincoln and the Civil War by Jerome Char Charlene. I can't pronounce his name. I have five other books by him in my library. He did a novel, historical fiction on Emily Dickinson. Uh, a novel that takes place during the Civil War, historical fiction, but I found him, I Am Abraham. Yeah, he, uh, Johnny One Eye I Have by him, that's when it took place during the Civil War. The Secret Life of Emily Dickinson, which I have, but I didn't know he did this one, I Am Abraham, found it at Salvation Army, no. Found it at Goodwill. I found this at the Fenville Public Library book room, which is across the street from the Fenville Warehouse bookstore. They have the Fenville Public Library has a book room where they sell books that are been withdrawn from the library. This is the Childhood of Jesus by J. M. Cortez, uh, translated. I'm not sure. No, it wasn't translated. But anyway, I ha I collect his novels. I have a whole shelf over there of his novels. And I did have this one. Also, I found this at the Finville Public Library used book room. This is The Way, a novel by Galvin Gobert. Gobert? Gobret. Uh... I never heard of this writer. He was born in West Ireland, was raised in Dublin, where he studied history at Trinity College. This is the way, is his second novel. He lives in Dublin. It's recommended by Joseph O'Neill, Emma Donahue, and Colin McCain, which I collect. And, you know, it was only 90 cents. And I'm always looking for good fiction. I got this at the Fenville Warehouse used bookstore. This is by Andre Mellorex, The Voices of Silence. This is his history of art. Uh, I collect his writings. I have a whole shelf of his writings down there. But I didn't know he did a history of art. It has all, you know, it goes to art. And... So this is really a find for me. Uh, it's an old paperback, uh, Princeton paperbacks, published in 1978. 
I think it was translated out of French by Stuart Gilbert. Yeah, I have a whole shelf of his writings. Uh, but I didn't know he did a history of art, The Voices of Silence. And I found, I collect the, the writings of Paul Thorax on the Plain of Snakes, A Mexican Journey. He's famous for his travel books. He's written a, a ton of them. Uh, I have a whole, I, I showed in a video a while back my collection of Paul Thorax. But I didn't have this one, which was, it didn't look familiar when I saw it. Uh, so I picked it up. This book I had, and I didn't know it until I was catalog it in library thing. I already had this, but I have a double now. But the Three Empires on the Nile, Victorian J had, uh, what's the word? Anyway, 1869 to 1899 by Dominic Green. I had this already. And I found this at the Finville Public Library used book room. Lennon's Brother, The Origins of the October Revolution by Philip Palmer. Another book on Russian history. And then I found this book at the Finville Warehouse Bookstore, The Upright Thinkers, Human Journey from Living in Trees to Understand the Cosmos by Leonard Mellon now. I can't pronounce his name. It's uh The history of human progress from what I gather about it and it just looked interesting it's only 90 about a dollar I think record by, the, by Stephen Hawkins Hawkins and um, I don't know I like reading about science the history of science history of progress uh, I'm not a, a I don't believe in evolution. I believe in the biblical account of creation, but I don't know. It looked interesting, so I bought it. So those are the used books I got the last couple of weeks at thrift stores, Salvation Army, Goodwill, Finville, Warehouse, used bookstore, Goodwill. So I just thought I'd show them since it's a new week and I can put these away now. So I hope you had a good reading weekend. I hope you have a good new week. We're now in the autumn season. And yeah, so thank you for your comments. Thank you for subscribing. And yeah, I have books coming in the mail this week, which I'll show. And uh, tell me how you're doing, what you're reading. Hope you have a good new week. And until next time, bye.